This is the busiest port in Canada, the hub for our insatiable demand for goods from abroad. Everything from that fancy new coffee machine to the raw materials needed to build houses, bridges, and buildings. That surge in demand combined with COVID travel restrictions has caused a humanitarian disaster at sea. You feel like your heart must be broken. Roly Page was so stuck at sea for 11 time. months. He signed on for six months as the second officer of a vessel hauling fertilizer, grains, coal, and aluminum. It delivered cargo to Europe and the Americas before eventually stopping in Vancouver. When his contract was up, he wanted to get off the ship and go home to the Philippines. But in port after port, Page was told COVID restrictions made it impossible to go ashore. It's a terrible, terrible situation. It's full of hollow promises and governments that won't do anything about it. The crew needed visas and public health exemptions to get off the ship. The replacement crew would need to be flown in. As the ship arrived in Vancouver, Page was finally told he was going home. I feel so relieved and very uh, happy. One of Page's crewmates snapped a shot of him as he stepped onto dry land for the first time in 11 months. Uh, I'm just so happy, man. I can't, I can't even express. I want to have my children. I want to be with my family. I want to sleep with them. The shipping industry's been clobbered through the pandemic. Container shortages, that unprecedented surge in global demand, that ship that got stuck in the Suez Canal. You know, you, you have uh, a little bit of a perfect storm with different things that are happening together. Experts say that's still no excuse to leave sailors stuck on ships for months on end with no way home. They say everyone, from governments to shipping companies to consumers, need to demand better and stand up for the people getting us all that stuff we want and need. Peter Armstrong, CBC News, Toronto.